Students call it Fight Week. At Tarpon Springs High School, that usually means you can expect some small skirmishes in the outdoor walkways. But today, an all-out brawl erupted with 10 students hauled off in handcuffs. These fights escalated throughout the morning, culminating before noon with an all-out out-of-control slugfest. You had screaming, kicking, hair pulling, just about everything. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard live in Pinellas County with that story. So what led up to all of this, Peter? Sounds like total mayhem. It does sound like total mayhem. We'll get to that. It seems like it may have uh, it happened over the weekend and then it ca continued on into the weekday. Ten Tarpon Springs high school students got a one-way ticket here to the Jack. That's the Juvenile Assessment Center. Witnesses tell me small fights turned into large brawls. <laughs> Two weeks until the end of the school year, and this is what it looked like at Tarpon Springs High School. Snapchat video shows students hurling insults and fists that began in the morning as small fights. Then... Yeah, I almost got, like, trampled. There was, like, everyone just running, and then me and Brittany, me and my friend were standing there, like, just scared. We didn't know what to do. Fights among four girls grew when six boys got involved. It blew up into a full-blown brawl. All of a sudden, I see the kids just start running. They started running to another spot, and another fight broke out, and another one, and another one, and it equaled 10. In this case here, it was a melee. Two school resource officers radioed for help. 14 additional Tarpon Springs officers arrived, along with sheriff deputies. There was kids running from all directions in there, screaming, yelling, and trying to get in there to, to get involved. When fighting students refused demands to stop, police made arrests. There's only so many administrators. I mean, you even had students breaking up fights, trying to break them up, in with the police officers. The principal called parents with this message. I'm calling this afternoon to let you know there was an altercation that occurred at our school today involving a few students. Some of the fighting began yesterday with this dust-up. The crazy thing is nobody can really determine what started it all. And the police major tells me an incident in Palm Harbor over the weekend may have started this mess. In all, there are 10 arrests, four girls and six boys. They're facing disorderly conduct charges, Keith. And by the way, there's going to be additional offers, officers at the school in the morning to keep the peace. Well, a lot of, a lot of cell phone video as well. And younger students involved in this bedlam, Peter. Yeah, uh, it's 9th, 10th, and 11th graders, so it's not a senior prank in this instance. It's 9th, 10th, and 11th, and uh, as I say, there's going to be more officers watching tomorrow to make sure this doesn't happen again. And no serious injuries and no weapons involved. At least there's that. Thank you. Peter Bernard, live in Pinellas County.